Right, something needs to change. Like enough is enough at this point, chat. So as a lot of you guys know, Twitch has added a feature called Channel Point. These allow your viewers to spend a lot of time watching you earn points as you stream. They can redeem these points to unlock sub emotes, highlight messages in the chat, and other options as well. And it also gives the streamer the option to set some of the rewards themselves. This is where I was a fool and where something needs to change. I set up one of Twitch's recommended options, which is push-ups. Now I get it, that might sound fun, but when your chat is bombarding you with like 60 to 100 push-ups all at once, you can understand why I think something might need to change. Like guys, I get it, I'm huge, I can handle a couple. What would you expect from like a back-to-back a -back champion bodybuilder person like me? But in all seriousness, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up some better rewards for your chat. Ones that will allow your chat to actually control your stream through OBS. Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name is James and Hodges. Welcome back to the channel. If you're part of that 80% of people that watch the channel but aren't actually subscribed, make sure you do so and hit that bell icon too. You're going to need an app called Leoran I think I'm getting that right. I initially found out about this app for a YouTuber called Nutty. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. You should 100% check this guy out. So for this to work, you can need the app I just mentioned and a OBS plugin. I'll leave links to both of those in the description. Once you have both of these downloaded, you see one is a zip folder. Unzip the folder and you'll see this. The only one you need to worry about now is the folder that says receiver. Open up the app inside that folder and you'll see this. As you can see, it's asking you for a few options here. To find out this information, open up your OBS app, go to tools, then web sockets and service settings. Then you need to match what shows up in OBS here, matches what's in the app. Quick tip while you're here, click these two boxes, auto connect to OBS and auto connect to Twitch. Doing this will stop you having to repeat the next step every single time you open up the app. Now you need to click connect to OBS, then link your Twitch account, log in, then go back to OBS and add a browser source. Click local file, and then go back to that zip folder we downloaded and your final folder called TSL Transmitter. It'll be a HTML file. Now finally, in the app, click connect to Twitch. And if we've done everything correctly, fingers crossed, it will work. Now we just need to add those effects we want our viewers to use. Go to add new deck. This is then basically a virtual version of a stream deck where we can add a few buttons. Click add button, right click, and then you'll see a load of options that we can play around with. For what we want to do, we'll click add command. When here, click that plus symbol, go to the drop down, and you see loads of options of things we can do, such as change a scene, adjust volume, etc. There's, there's loads of things here. For this example, we'll go to switch scene. Choose a scene you'd like it to change to. And then I'm gonna hit that plus symbol again and make a chain of events. So when it changes to that scene, after about 400-ish milliseconds, I want it to go back to my gaming scene. This is great in case your chat has chosen a scene that is your like a close-up of your face and you haven't realized it's happened and you're sitting there for ages playing the game and it's just of your face. This way, you can guarantee it'll go back to normal. Now we've done that, we just need to set up what we want the trigger to be. Back on this page, you need to right-click on that button we've made and click on Add Twitch Trigger. Again, just click on that plus button at the top and you'll have loads of options such as bits, subs, and also your channel points to choose from. If you wanted this to be a channel point reward, go to redeem name. Put your channel point reward name, this bit has to be exact. And that's it. Once that is now activated, the sequence of events that you set up will trigger. There's loads of great things you can do with this. and You can really get creative with some ideas here as well. Let me know any of the ideas that you guys come up with and let me know in the comment section and I'll probably end up using them in my stream as well. Right, now it's time for me to add some of these myself so people stop asking me to do push-ups. Before I go, make sure you follow me on Twitter and Twitch. It's at James M. Hodges. If you like this video, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button, subscribe button, that oh, there's so many buttons. Make sure you do it, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. My goodness. <laughs>